guys, welcome to another episode of Good Night. <laughs> so, before what this show is, I'm Jason, this is Steven, and what we do on this Sunday show is we, in our main show really, we talk about our dreams. Dreams we had the night before, dreams we had a long time ago. Dreams that we had 20 years ago. 20 years ago. If you can remember them. My very first dream when I wet the I thought I wet the bed. I was about two, and I really did wet the bed. No, yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was historic. I riched. Anyway. He did rich. So I'm going to do some shout-outs. Shout them uh, out! Shout it out to the heavens. Got mad one, but thank you for watching. <laughs> Sean Henry, thank you for watching. <laughs> and Matt... Nope, that's all right. I just said the thing. <laughs> My name is Tad <laughs> Thank you for watching. They commented on our last uh, video, The Two Dreams About Steven. <laughs> Which is a funny episode. That's a good episode. You were from a different dimension. <laughs> I was. Mm. And you think maybe in reality I am, so I don't know. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so, today Steven's going to tell us a dream. I am. And what is this dream called? This dream is called Tornado. We get a lot of tornadoes here in Oklahoma. We do. And I want to say that I used to have tornado dreams pretty regularly. Because I used to be really scared of tornadoes. Were you scared which of tornadoes? Is, yeah, which is totally understandable. Are you scared of tornadoes now? Not as much. Um, May 3rd, 1999 kind of whipped me out of that a little bit. Why is that? That's the day of the famous May 3rd tornadoes. I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember that? May 1999? Yes, the May 3rd tornadoes that went through, I think, more in the city and... Killer F five tornadoes. Oh, with the one in Moore. Yes, I think yes. it was. I think it was Moore. Yes, I. That's do. a pretty hi no. historic date here in Oklahoma. There was a terrible outbreak of tornadoes on that day. I'm not a very good Oklahoman because I do remember that now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to it's, edit. I'm gonna have to edit that. Out. You know, you got eight thousand things beeping over here. <laughs> <laughs> is the president trying to get a hold of you? Uh, the Rogue Show is my buddies. Rob's oh, Rogue. Rob's Rogue. Olivia yes. Stu. Yes, the great jazz. Dr uh, <laughs> Well, I bet he can play jazz. Oh, yeah, I bet Rob can play anything. Yeah, yeah. He's a great drummer. So, yeah. Rob, the, the Buddy Rich in Stan Kenton of Ohio, as I like to call him. Not Stan Kenton, uh, Gene Krupa. So. so, wait, so you're saying after the Bay Third Tornado, you're not scared of tornadoes? Not as much, it seems like. I mean, I still, you know, if there's if there's one that's pretty close, then we've had a few close calls in the past few years. Yes, but Eden's very lucky. Our town... We haven't had a tornado since 65? I thought it was 66. 66? I think it was 1966. Yeah, so that's pretty good yeah. for even. Now, if you do... Or for any town in Oklahoma. That's true. But if you do recall, Jason, back in 2009, it was April 26th. I even remember the day. We did have a tornado here up in North Enid when it uh, took the roof off of the uh, Coliseum. Yeah, but that knocked out knocked down the old bamboo club out there by the cemetery. That's North Enid. Though. Well, well no, I'm just kidding. Uh, North Enid's a separate town yeah, from pretty, our town. That's but pretty it's called North Enid. They couldn't so. think of it. They couldn't think of their own. Yeah, and I think a lot of that had to do something. We with love the, you, North Enid. Uh, yeah, that had something to do with. Uh, it was called the railroad wars. I think there were two railroads that were. Rivals. Oh. I think that's kind of where all that's that... That's where that started I'd from? have to ask my dad for while sure. We had it, while we have two towns they mean it? I think so. I think it goes all the way back to that time during the railroad war. Well, so I don't blame them. Do their own I'll find out information yeah. about that. But no, let me know. My dad knows more about that than I do. So. Write me down below. Link down below. At yes. facebook.com slash g-o-o-d-i-s-h. That's how you can get a hold of me, Stephen. Okay. So right to him. I certainly will. And you can get a hold of me at scharwood at gmail.com. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs> All right, what's your dream? Okay, now, I have had, yes, back to May 3rd. It seemed like after that night, mm -hmm. I was scared that night, and we spent, we went to the basement because they were headed this way. Mm -hmm. These were, this was a killer outbreak of tornadoes. Mm -hmm. And it's, I don't know what it was. It seemed like that night it was kind of, I don't know what happened that night. I don't know if I just finally made peace with it all and accepted the fact that it could happen but it seemed like after that night I was I learned to respect tornadoes you know if, oh, yeah. there, if there's one that's headed your way 
don't stand out in the front yard and film it. I mean, that's not a smart thing to Unless do. Unless you're a grandpa. Grandpas always do that. Yes. And my I, grandpa would just open up the front door and just... Well, my grandpa, Cal, was a farmer up there in Hennessy, Oklahoma. It's gone, Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, my grandpa used to do the same thing. My grandpa was a farmer up in... This is Grandpa Cal on my mom's side. He was a farmer up in... Uh, uh, Hennessy, Oklahoma. They had an apple orchard up there, and one time there was a tornado out and off in the distance. And so he's doing this. No, he was on his tractor. So he's doing this. Yeah, and I, I guess my grandma was worried about him, and I, I guess she said, "Cal, there's a tornado," and he said something like, "Yeah, I'm watching it," and he just kept on working. Well, good for him. See, it's a grandpa thing. Well, yeah, and my grandpa Cal was a farmer, and he knew he could read the clouds like the back of his hand. Oh yeah, those old time he, farmers. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, even. I know a farmer now. He and he, I mean, he's not spring chicken, but yeah, he knows the weather. They know the weather, mm -hmm. I think, better than the people down in the city at the news stations. Yeah, the meteorologists. Yeah, <laughs> how'd that go again? Meteorologists. That's what I Words I can't say. So, yeah, there's another story, but I've got to get to this dream. There's another story about my grandpa after they moved up here to Enid, mm -hmm. and he was set. This was the '66 tornado, I think. Ah, yeah. And he said something like, "If you want to see a cloud that a tornado comes out of, look at that one right there." And sure enough, it happened, and my mom and Grandma and my Aunt Betty went over to my Aunt Marie's house, which is just a couple blocks east of where Grandma and Grandpa Cal live. Yeah, that way. This is the house over there by the Brahms. The Brahms. They don't know what that is, but you do. So. Yes, I do. But they went over there, I think. It's a good story. And I think Grandpa Cal stayed outside the whole, the whole time, and they came back. With the screen door open? Yeah. No, he was sitting on the porch. I like this. He was sitting on the porch. And, uh, like this. Yeah, they finally came back over, and... Uh, Grandpa Cal, I don't remember exactly what he it's said. Gone. He said something like, I told you the tornado was going to come out of that cloud or something. <laughs> he was quite a man. I sure wish I had gotten to know him. Yes, that is sad. But, yeah. He died before you were born. Mm -hmm. It was 1970. Mm -hmm. He was 71 years old. Wow. But anyhow, um, this is, I hadn't had a tornado dream in Oh, you life. have a tornado dream? Yeah, see, oh, look, this 10 one. minutes. We've just hit the 10 minute mark. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, tune uh, this off already. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. But, yeah, I hadn't had a tornado dream in years. And I, the ones I used to have, we were always driving in them. Mm. It was they were, they were disturbing. But this one was on Monday, March 16th. This dream. This dream. Monday, March 16th, 2015. Oh, that's this year. Yes. This happened I, when I woke up. It was 4.36 a.m., and that's when I got my phone out and recorded it. Oh, okay. I'm ready so, for this. You ready? I'm ready. It's kind of long. All right, now, the dream begins with me, and I bought a new pair of shoes. Of course. It's a tornado dream. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And in reality, about, oh, when was that? Two weeks prior to that or so, I actually did buy some new shoes down in Oklahoma City. Uh, did you get ready for a tornado? <laughs> yeah, I was. But I bought this new pair of shoes, and I was with my mom and my grandma, Laura, and we were going to this, we were going to a cemetery that doesn't even exist mm. in reality. Mm. But we were going to this cemetery that was south of town uh, where some of our relatives were supposedly buried. Now, who these relatives were, I don't know. They were non-existent relatives. Mm. But anyhow, um, in order to get out there, we had to go... Now, to our viewers, you're not going to know these roads, but... Jason, I'm going to say them anyway. That way you'll kind of understand. No point. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it'll make a little more sense to you because you do live here. I do? And, uh, yeah, mm. you do. You are not from my dimension, but you do live here. So. <clears throat> <laughs> so, okay. Well, anyways, to get to this cemetery, we had to go. The cemetery was on Garland Road, south. And I have this written down. But in the dream, Garland Road was actually Oakwood Road. Wow. Well, yeah. they're kind of close. Yeah. I mean, they're just like, And it looked boom. like Oakwood Road. Boom. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. It looked like Oakwood Road. Plus, dreams more yeah. and stuff. I exactly. Guess. I get it. Mm -hmm. Right there by the mall. And all that was where Garland Road actually is. It was it was dreams that happen sometimes. Or different dimensions. Yeah, things get metamorphosized. So, um, but anyhow... Uh, I wanted to go out to the cemetery. <laughs> I wanted to go out to the cemetery so I could try out my new shoes. <laughs> I wanted to go try off my new shoes. 
And I did this because I wanted to wear them on Memorial Day, which I guess it was getting pretty close to Memorial Day. And what this was like, it was like I was going out there to rehearse for Memorial Day. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Yeah. And the shoes that I was wearing were black, just like the ones that I bought. I'm not wearing those shoes tonight, actually. I'm wearing my old pair. But um, after the shoe rehearsal... Uh, we began to go back to town. We were heading north this way. We were on Oakwood slash Garland, the Oakwood Road, which is where Garland really is. We were headed back north, and then I, I noticed that it was getting stormy, and I could see these clouds off in the distance just billowing, these massive thunderheads, these anvil clouds. <coughs> and at one point I say, imagine if a huge gust of wind came down upon us and started pushing us around. Mm. And then all of a sudden... To the east, looking off to the east, there was a rope-like tornado in an open field. Ooh, that's scary. Those are scary. They are scary. And it well, was tornadoes. this tornado was more than it was more than fifty feet away from us, and it was really weak. Mm. And then I said, "You all need to look out the window." <laughs> Like they weren't. Sorry. Yeah, they weren't. And after seeing the tornado, Mom, who was driving the car, she gunned it and tried to outrun it. Which, of course, yes. in Oklahoma, you don't do that. You know, you know, well, any tornado, I, any, you anywhere. don't. You don't. Yeah. In Kansas, you can. Oklahoma, you yeah. can. <laughs> it's not a. It's not. It's not a smart idea. Nah. It can. It, no, it, it can, could turn it, any which yeah, way. Yeah, it could, and, uh, it, and it can kill. Get you. stronger. Yeah, seek shelter. Exactly. <clears throat> But protected and survived. <laughs> <laughs> Duck and cover. Now, no. I would like to say a few words to you about the possibility of a nuclear war. No. <laughs> okay, back to the dream. Um, however, once this happened, once we saw this tornado, Mom gunned it, and we were able to get out of harm's way. Mm, but in dreams, things like that can happen. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. All right, page two. Page two. Uh, we eventually reached the intersection where Garriott and Garland intersect. That's 412 and Garland. And uh, <clears throat> I looked off to the west and saw two more tornadoes in the distance. Oh, and these were pretty good size. When they come from the west from here, that's pretty creepy. Yeah. That's where they usually come. Yeah, that's right. They were big ones. Like I, I would say maybe an F3. They were pretty big. Wow. And now in this dream, my house was located in, there's a housing addition behind Atwoods. And Atwoods is west of town. It's Cedar Ridge, I believe, is the name of that housing addition. <laughs> but um, <laughs> this is where my friend Rustin lives. And, but in this Did dream. Live? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. He that. does live over there. Hey, live by you. No, no, he doesn't. And, uh, but in this dream, I lived in this housing addition, and Mom was oh, headed. You. Thank you. Mom, nice was, Mom was headed there to drop me off. And you moved. You didn't I tell know, me. I know. I know. And then all of a sudden, two more tornadoes began to form. So now there was five tornadoes. Moral of the story: Don't move to that addition. Yeah, exactly. And this time, five tornadoes. That's there, there were five tornadoes. It's like the tornadoes back in that were around here. This area back in, say, I was in second grade, 81, 82? Yeah, Mom yeah. remembers that. She said there were funnels dipping out of the sky all day mm -hmm. long. Yeah. Now, back in 1992, in May, I was in the third grade, there was a total of nine tornadoes that touched down in Woodward, Oklahoma. Wow. And they were pretty weak, and they were they were the kind of serpent-like tornadoes, but there was nine of them. Yes. So, thank you for that. I appreciate it. <laughs> they come down from the, the sky going, and they did. They most certainly did. Now, when I saw these other two tornadoes, these we could really feel. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mom was, she's going to keep going, but I said, Mom, you've got, we've got to get out of here. <laughs> this is too dangerous. Yeah. I said, let's go to your house. And then for some unexplained reason, my Grandma Laura got out of the car and got on a bicycle. <laughs> With and, her laws, man. I know. And she went back to her house. Which she was headed south, and now in reality, that's where Walmart is. But yes. there was like a housing addition over there. Mm -hmm. now, Grandma, the the entire time she lived in Eden, from '64 up until her death, she lived in one house until she moved in with us, and that was over there on 520 South Madison. <clears throat> so again, dreams, everything just yeah, it's weird. Dreams just can just flip flop. Don't make sense. I know. Sometimes I know, and there's a lot of well, things. Most times, there are a lot of things that don't make sense. But anyway, she was headed back to her house, which was over there 
where Walmart is. And I told her, I said, I said, this is dangerous, Grandma. But she was on. She just insisted on going. Well, that's a grandma for us. So, and she went on her bike, and I said, okay, you call me when you get home, and you let me know you made it home safely. Okay, well, for you. You're a good grandson. Uh, then Mom and I changed our route and headed back over to where we used to live on 720 West Indiana, by the high school, my old house. I have a lot of dreams about where I used to live, and. Um, now, back at my house, remember, it's over there, my dog Libby was there, and she was all by herself. Aww. And I was, I was very worried about her, because these tornadoes were really close to where I was lived. Libby, where I was Rudy. Living, so, yeah, Rudy. So I was, and I was afraid that perhaps my house had been hit, and I could see some damage off in that area. Ooh. Yeah. That's, and, that would be fun. And the two tornadoes were opposite of each other. One was to the west, and one was to the east. And again, they were big. They were big, dark cylinders. Oh, those are scary. Yeah. The ones are just dark. You mm -hmm. can't see anything. Exactly. Now, we got to the old house on Indiana, and my dad was there. What was he doing there? And, well, I'm going to tell you. <clears throat> I was still worried about my house. I was worried about Libby. I was worried about Grandma, Grandma Laura. And uh, I still hadn't heard from her. Hadn't heard well, from Grandma. She's on a bike. Yeah. Give her time, man. I know. I was getting all <laughs> rushed. She's a grandma. I know. <laughs> now, the house... Now, at the house... Um, on Indiana, uh, mom and dad's bedroom was actually where my bedroom was. Mm, flip flop again. I know. My bedroom was kind of on the north end of the house. Mom and dad's was on the south, but it flip flopped. And in my old bedroom, which was where mom and dad's room was in this dream, dad was laying on the floor, and it seemed like he was working on a car. <laughs> like <laughs> there, a model? No, like a full size car. In the house? Yeah. He was laying on the he was laying on the floor and he was work. It seemed like he was working on a car. You got a big house. I can't. Actually, that house was not very big. Those rooms. You got were a small, small car. Yeah. <laughs> and he had the TV on so he could hear the weather. And later on, while we were riding out the storm there, Dad, I noticed Dad was laying in the bed. And Mom was laying on the floor. I don't know why. Now, at some point after that, this is where some weird stuff's gonna happen. A friend of mine who is a teacher at the high school, his name's Dusty Hugaboom. Good friend of mine. Is that a real name? Yeah, it is. Dusty's real. Dusty's very real. Um, I'll have to tag him on this so he can watch this. Shout out to Dusty there. So Dusty, all of a sudden, he shows up, and I was talking to him about my new shoes. <laughs> if we were talking about the tornado. See, here I am still all hyped about these these new shoes that I bought. For the cemetery. I know. Memorial Day. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I found myself in the dining room at Mom and Dad's current house on Jefferson Street, which is where, in reality, they live right now. Mm -hmm. And then, all of a sudden, my friend Jason Harbour shows up. Okay. So I have to tag him in this dream, too. And he showed up with a tornado trap. What's that? Well, I'm getting ready to explain that. You remember the traps on Ghostbusters? Oh boy! Where they stomp on them. Here comes the twist. Yeah. 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 It was one. It was like that. And supposedly these could capture capture tornadoes. Wow. And uh, they would be put into a containment system, kind of like all the ghosts were. <laughs> but if the traps were ever open, the tornadoes could escape and they would form again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want to hear it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I went outside, and I was on the, I was, I was back on the porch at 720 West Indiana. <laughs> but remember, I just came out of the dining room at the house on Jefferson Street. Mm -hmm. But when I went outside, the porch was at the house on Indiana. Yeah. So it's kind of like Rob's dream. We just it is. Yeah. It is exactly. And on the mailbox, there was this long spider web that was hanging there, and it freaked me out because I thought it was a tornado. <laughs> But it was a spider web, and it just dangled there from the mailbox, and it was a tornado <laughs> spider web. <laughs> oh, gosh. And that's it? Thank you all for watching. Good night, that sleepy was it. <laughs> Jason, how can they get a hold of you? <laughs> that was a good dream. Thank you. That was it. <laughs> I like how the dreams don't make sense and they just end. So, mm -hmm. and that and that one just kept getting crazier and crazier. Mm -hmm. I like to see your shoes. You should bring them on the show. I'll day. bring them next time. <laughs> and your tornado trap? How big was your tornado trap? It was about the size of the little traps on Ghostbusters that they would throw out and they'd stomp on it and. And they could hold all that wind. Yeah, yeah. capture tornadoes. That's so, cool. Yeah.
<laughs> Alright, so if you want to get a hold of me, go to facebook.com slash goodish. Link down below. And how do we get a hold of you, sir? You can get a hold of me at scharwood at gmail.com. Alright, we thank you for already about, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. See you guys, bye. Good night. <laughs> Friends are bad, I tell you, friends are bad, I tell you, make them go away on a sunny day. Stab them in the back, I tell you what, son, stab them in the back, I tell you what, son, make them go away on a sunny day. Stab them in the back, stab them in the back.